Hey guys, Tech Ninja with the video for you guys. In today's video, I want to show you how to fix this issue on your iPhone where it cannot verify your AirPods. So this message pops up when Apple software on iOS 16 detects that the AirPod that you have are not genuine or real. However, if you know your AirPods are real and you bought it from an authorized retailer like Apple or any of their authorized retailer, this may be a software issue and we'll show you how to fix this if it's a software related issue and if it's not also how to go about this issue if you're still having this issue come up with your AirPods. So on iOS 16 on or iPhone 8 and above which is compatible on iOS 16, Apple created this software to detect if your AirPods are genuine or not because they wanted to kind of counter this issue where the AirPods, there's so many fakes out there and this is the only way now you can tell to see if your AirPods are real or not. So you'll get this message here. You can go into Bluetooth settings and you should still be able to connect without any issue. If you click on this, it will have a message like this. As you can see here, cannot verify AirPods. These AirPods could not be verified as a genuine Apple AirPods. You can all connect anyway by clicking on that and if you do that you'll notice here if you click on that eye icon here you'll get this important message saying these are not genuine airpods but let's say you know for sure 100 percent these are genuine so how can you fix this issue because this could be simply a bug issue on ios 16. so first thing you want to do if you're having this issue go ahead and click on forget this device you might if you have other information go all the way at the bottom and you should be able to go ahead and forget that device once you go ahead and forget this device the next thing you want to do is go ahead and pull the control menu down here we're on i iphone 14 pro here we're going to simply turn the bluetooth off and then turn it back on just do a quick check on the bluetooth the next thing we're going to do with our iphone is do a forced restart of the iphone so we're going to Press and release the volume up, volume down really quick, and then hold this big side button until the phone goes completely black and the Apple logo reappears. So volume up, volume down, and then we're going to hold the side button here on the right-hand side. As you can see, we're going to wait for the screen to go completely black and we see the Apple logo reappear again. We're going to wait till the Apple logo appears and then we're going to let go of that side button. So you want to make sure you do it really quick when the volume up and down, you're going to press and release it, press and release the volume down and then hold that side button. If you're not quick enough, it will activate Siri. So make sure you do that quick. And we just did a force restart of the phone. Now we also want to do a force restart of the AirPods themselves. And to do that, all we do is look in the back of the AirPods. You'll see that there is a little button on the back and then you're going to look towards the button you're going to press and hold that button for about 15 seconds we're going to press and hold for 15 seconds we're going to wait for that light to turn amber and then white so we're going to keep on pressing and holding so in the back i'm just holding this light as you can see it turned amber really quick and then it's going to flash that and after that we will let go of that and it should now be reset. So we did a reset of the phone and uh, the actual iPhone itself. And the next thing we want to do is go ahead and try to reconnect again. So you're going to open the lid again one more time. You're going to wait to see if it detects. And as you can see, we're going to go ahead and connect here. Hold that side button one more, the button in the back one more time. And we're going to go ahead and reconnect it just like this again. Now we're going to wait to see if that message, as you can see, the message is still there. And we're going to go ahead this time. We're going to have go into the settings and then go to general software update. And we're going to look to see if there is any update available. And if there is, we're going to simply download and install the latest update to make sure it's not a, a bug with the software itself. And then do the same thing again one more time. You're going to go ahead into settings here go to Bluetooth and then find your device one more time again click on that once you click on that wait for it to come up and then you can connect anyways click on the icon and forget the device and hit that connection after the update is done with your software so it will go through the update make sure you're updated and then we're gonna do the same thing again we're gonna close the lid and this time go ahead and try to connect one more time and hopefully this time around, the AirPods 
are shown as real and you don't have any issues with the AirPods and that message goes away. But let's say you're still having the issue and you know you did, you forced restarted your iPhone, you turned on and off the Bluetooth, you forced restart or reset your AirPods, but that message still exists. What can you do? The next thing to do is essentially if you bought it from a retail authorized uh, Apple Store, go to the Apple Store, take your receipt and show them the issue and they should be able to help you out, possibly get a replacement if it's still an issue. Or if you go to any retailer that you bought it from with your receipt, they should be able to help you because if they somehow gave you, mistakenly gave you a non-genuine one or fake one, they can give you a real one and you can check this out. And like you said, this could be a bug with about maybe 5% of the devices out there, but for the most part on iOS 16, this is a pretty good way to check if your AirPods are real or fake, which we did a previous video to show that. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If so, make sure that like and subscribe button. And thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.